So over here in the showroom, getting some info off of Corvette. Wanted to bring you a little view. It's March 7th, 2023. Weather's been pretty good, so we got a bunch of the cars outside, but there's a nice few classics in here. Low mileage Mustang, we did a video on yesterday. Brand new Mustang right there. Orion Reaper buggy. But this Corvette, we've had a lot of interest over the last week. So I was over here getting some VIN numbers off the engine for a customer. We'll get it outside and do a better video, but just realized we did not have a video of this car. So this is a dual carburetor. This is not a numbers matching engine. Uh, we were told this is a 327. This is also not, per the Corvette experts, a proper paint color for this year car. And it's a little dusty from sitting in here, but um, it is proper for, I think they said the year before or the year after, but not proper for this car. This car being a 59, I believe. You can look on the website, but this is a really nice car. It's a good driver. Um, it has been sitting previous to us getting it. We've put some fresh fuel in it. We've cleaned the carbs up. Um, it does start and run like it's supposed to. This car was owned by a, a very well-recognized author from what we were told that actually was in Virginia, um, but we did not get that author's name. One of our buyers bought it, and then uh, another buyer friend of ours bought it, and then they did some swapping back. And that's where we acquired it from. So the car does have some, some good history. Supposedly her and the boyfriend kind of rode around to some car shows and cruise-ins. It's got a couple little indentions in the chrome if you catch the light just right. Again, most of this other stuff's just dust. It could use a little chrome polishing under the hood. And it really could just use some good driving. It's a very, very good looking car. And again, lots of, lots of stuff on it. So probably should have it out and washed off to do this video. But uh, after probably having eight or 10 inquiries recently, I figure we better at least get a video done of the car. Hood opens and closes well. There is a soft top, and the soft top right here in the middle, somewhere right in this area, has a little spot that almost looks like a cigarette burn. Now, I'm sure an upholstery place could take care of fixing it as much as they do these days, but um, it does have that little imperfection. So, But the stainless on the car is in good shape. Door panels and underside of the doors, door jams. Four speed car. Clutch feels good, shifts through. Very, very original as far as the interior goes. Like I said, top does go up. All the bright work, the chrome, lights and lenses in great shape. The emblems are in good shape. Car's definitely had a restoration and again, even though we've had every style and model of Corvette, we don't condone ourselves as Corvette experts, but obviously when you advertise a car like this, you get all the experts that come out and tell you everything they know. And we were told that this seafoam green, I call it, was not a proper color for this year car. A beautiful color. And again, I think it was the year before, the year after it was offered, but not this year. Again, door panels, stainless, doors, bolts, nuts, everything look good. Doors close good. Again, this car's had some definite restoration work. The body lines look nice. And for this price point, we keep watching them at Barrett Jackson and other I and Mecham auctions and stuff like that, bringing ridiculous money. But uh, this car's priced very fair. So check it out on the website, davis4x4.com or davisautosales.com. Thanks for watching. We'll get this one out in the sunlight and get you a better video soon.